Hello guys, this is Andres, and I'm, I am in Ms. Perez's class in period 8, and today I am going to explain a few problems that I did for my exam a couple days ago. As you can see, the first, I put down the first three problems here, and the explanation why they are different. Now the first one, I will be finding like a variable's answer, so like m equals to something. Um, number two will be like x is greater than or equal to an, an, a number. And for number three, I will be finding a variable is equal to something. Um, each question has a little twist to it, so yeah. So my first problem, as I stated before, was negative m plus 20 equals negative 7 plus 4. The first thing I did was add 7 to both sides so I can get my variable on one side only. I would get 2m plus 20 equals 4. After that, I would minus 20 on both sides to have that 2m by itself. And I would get 2m equals negative 16. After that, I would divide by 2. So I can get that just that variable, and I got m equals negative 8 as my final answer. My second question was 14m plus 34 equals 12m plus 50. I would minus 12m on both sides. <coughs> I would get 2m plus 34 equals 50. After that, I would minus 34 on both sides to get that 2m by itself. And I would get 2m equals negative 16. But I still have that 2m together, so I would need to divide by 2 on both sides. And for my final answer, I would get m equals 8. Now, the question for this one was, after how many months will the cable services cost the same so it would take eight months till the cost of both cables reach the same amount of the cost now my next problem is negative 2x is less than or equal to 7 parentheses negative 5x minus 2 parentheses plus 8x now the first thing I would do was distribute so I would 7 I would times 7 to negative 5x and then I would also times 7 to negative 2 and I would get this answer after that I see that I can combine like terms and I do as, as also and I will get this answer now since I'm all ready to go I will Add 27 on both sides, and I would get 25x is less than or equal to negative 14. After that, I would divide by 25 on both sides, and I would get x is less than or equal to 0.56. And that is my final answer. For my last problem, this is the sub builder in internal notation and the graphing on the chart. And this is it. For this problem, I needed to find um, I needed to find if Sally's test scores um, if she scored out a 50 on the next test, will she be earning a B for the semester? And the the ones on top of the fraction are besides the 50 are the ones that the scores that she got so far so I needed to find out if it would be a B so the first thing I did was add all those up the 38 72 79 83 and 50 and I got 322 divided by 5 is greater than or equal to X after that I would the third, I would 
do as it says, 32, 3, 322 divided by 5, and I got 64.4 is greater than or equal to x, so the answer is no, because if she did score a 50%, she will get an average of a 64.4, which is a D, and that is not a B. Okay, for this problem, I will be the equation is in the middle, and for part A, I will need to find I need to solve for V. So the first thing I did was uh, write the equation, and then I times by R on both sides, so I can get V by itself. So I cross that out, and I got IR equals equal to V. And that would be my answer because I got V by itself. And the next is this is the equation. So I would times R just like the other problem. And then I would have V alone. Next thing, I would divide by I so I can get the R by itself. And I will get R is equal to V over I. And that is my final answer. Okay, so for this next question, the question was, what is the voltage across the bulb? So the equation I got was 2 equals V over 4. The 2 will be for the amps. The 4 will be for the ohms. And the V for, will be for the voltage. Now I needed to find the voltage. And what I needed to do was get the V by, this, by itself. So what I did was times by 4 on each side, and I got 8 equals V. So there we go. I got V by itself, and that is my final answer. So the answer is 8 because I times the 4, so I can get the variable by itself, and I ended up with V equals 8. Now that is my exam, part two. I hope you guys enjoyed my explanation, and I hope you guys really like this video. Thank you for watching, and please like and subscribe.